okay guys let me take you to our today's class and we will be studying uh, about the integumentary system uh, the word seems to be quite uh, complex but then kya cheez hoti hai it's a it's a kind of uh, packaging material most of the actually every higher organism is having the material which actually pack our cells our skin but that that does not always uh, i mean related with the skin only it it includes hairs as well as nails so in a easier word the system comprises of skin hair and nail all of these things in totality is called as integumentary system since we were studying human system so we know that how important human systems are and how important are each and every of the organ present in the human system stomach is very important without it no digestive system means no life excretory system kidneys no kidneys means no ex excretory system and that means no life as well so there is no concept of life without uh, any major organ present in our systems but when we imagine about the integumentary system this seems to be like uh, you know something not that much important something which we can avoid something without which we might exist it does not make any sense if i can tell you that we can exist without heart no we can exist without kidneys no we can exist without the stomach no but we can exist without our nails we can exist without our hairs and somehow we can exist without our skin as well somehow but this is not completely true because these things are doing very major function for ourselves especially the skin it has wonderful wonderful uh, you know tools and instruments present in our skin and those tools and instruments are contributing in very vital functions which are required for the very much survival of our body so in totality that means that no skin means no life and that is exactly the reason you guys might recall certain news feeds or certain news in the in the televisions where people were reported like this that 60% of the body or 60% jism jo hai wo jhulas gaya the 60% of the skin is gone so the doctor is usually reporting the burns in this way doctor burns ko is tarah se represent karte sometimes they, they do it's a third degree burn second degree burn that also a way to tell that how deep is the problem how much skin is gone so that also means that our skin is made up of different layers the outermost layer of our skin is quite replaceable actually it is replaceable they are like they are the environment like we are touching the things we are like uh, and and the cells present on our outer skin they constantly fell from our skins in a regular way because of the physical action we are having whenever we use our hands we lose lot of cells from our skin whenever we change our clothes we lose lot of cells at the same time so the outermost layer of our skin is like gradually uh, you can say like uh, it is shedding off in a regular fashion and you can sense that activity you can sense that activity by understanding that how hina or i must say mehndi works when it is placed on your skin it actually chemically react with the cells of the skin and over the period of time the color of the hina or mehndi is 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 getting lighter and lighter because of we are losing the cells of the skin at that time. and after some period of time it is all gone like it is all done so these uh, skin cells are doing lot of wonderful functions and the first and the most easier to understand is that 
it is acting as a covering or a packaging material. And I can tell you it's the best packaging material present on the planet Earth because it is packing, it is responsible for the packaging of life. And you guys who are like involved in different types of shopping and other things, you know, the packaging material actually defines that how well that stuff will going to stay. If the packaging is wonderful or better or with good material, you can guess that the life of the material will going to last longer. So the same goes for the skin, that the skin is required to package the life. So it should be very perfect. It should be, and also it should survive over the lifespan. So that is why it is getting replaced. The outermost layer is getting replaced with the passage of time. The other difficult job the skin is doing, it is involved in the regulation of our body temperature. And that is very important, very important. Whatever the chemicals, enzymes, and things we are having in our body, which are responsible for the functions of life, all those things, all those chemicals and enzymes, they work at one temperature, and that temperature is 37 degrees centigrade. So if the temperature of our body is uh, like changed, like for a couple of degrees up or below, that will going to hurt the function of enzyme. That means that will going to hurt the life as well. So whenever we are like living in a situation where temperature is, is comparatively higher than our body temperature, like outside temperature is 41, for example, our body temperature is 37. So naturally, the heat should flow from the outside to our body. And that will going to hurt a lot, the function of life. So when the temperature is getting out of control, the body feel and sense that it is difficult for the body to keep the temperature at 37 degrees centigrade. What happened after that? The cells present in the skin, they are getting certain glands. And those glands are called as sweat gland cells. Those are called as sweat gland cells. The sweat gland cells, the job of the sweat, sweat gland cell is to produce water. The job of the, so this is for example, the sweat gland cells, the, the job, is to produce droplets of water on the surface of the skin. They make a very small, thin, fine layer of water on your skin. And that water actually experiences all the heat of the environment. It gets evaporated when water converts from the liquid into the gas or into the vapor. So this is a basic chemistry. When evaporation occurs, it results in cooling. Because evaporation needs energy and that energy is taken up from the skin, from the body and it causes cooling. So sweating is like a life and those unfortunate people who lost their skin, who lost their skin because of certain accident, those people will never be able to have the function of the sweat glands. That point is, it is very difficult for them to maintain their body temperature. Sunair, you are busy. I have mute your mic. I have muted you, don't worry, you can carry on. So it is a little bit difficult, but not, it's not possible for those people. Like 40, 50, 60% of the skin is gone. That means the person will going to have a, a lesser efficiency of maintaining the body temperature. And that is why those people, in the news, they lost like 40 to 60% of their skin. They usually do not survive after that because it's very difficult for them to exist as, 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 as a living thing, as a living person. So that's the one thing. So the outermost layer of the skin, this one is called as the epidermis. This is the skin cell layer, which gradually, you know, deteriorates and it, because of the physical action, we shed these cells out of our body. And it is gradually replaced from the cells from the lower side. The lower side produce, keep producing the cells and it is kept on replacing the top layer. So whatever the skin cells I am having at this time, that's those skin cells will going to be replaced in the, uh, I mean, in, in, in few days because of the actions and physical actions. The other important things in the skin is that uh, this is the place where the hair follicles are present. Hair follicles are quite complex structure, I can tell you. I mean, it's, uh, it seems very simple, but this is something like, acting as a, as a root, something acting as a seed. 
और हेयर फॉलिकल्स की अगर आपने अहमियत पूछनी है तो उनसे पूछें जिनके बाल नहीं होते आई मीन दे आर लाइक दीज गाइज आर सो डेस्परेट समाइम टू हैव तो ट्रांसप्लांट करते हैं इम्प्लांटेशन करते हैं और दूसरे दो स्ट्रक्चर रिक्वायर कॉम्प्लेक्स एक्टिविटी टू एग्जिस्ट बिकॉज वहां पर रैपिड सेल डिविजन होती है एंड दैट रैपिड सेल डिविजन रिजल्ट इन द क्रिएशन ऑफ न्यू प्रोटीन विच क्रिएट्स अयर सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव अ कंसिस्टेंट सप्लाई ऑफ द प्रोटीन सो यू कैन कैप्ट ऑन हैविंग द हेयर द हेयर फॉलिकल शुड वर्क इन अ परफेक्ट वे एंड दोज पीपल हु जस्ट लॉस द हेयर फॉलिकल्स दैट मीन्स they will never be able to grow their own hair so either they need to transplant hair follicles from the other sides you can you can guess ke khas tor pe males ke andar usually the sides from the, on the temporal side here and on the back side yahan par baal rehte hain even so jinke bahut saal kam baal hote hain unke paas bhi they are quite comparatively rich places jahan par hair follicles survive karte to transplant hair transplant mein kya karte hain but there are many methods of hair transplant one of that is that they actually borrow remove some of the hair follicles from here and then transplant those hair follicles in the other parts of the head this is one way so that the hair can grow after that and the cells since the cells are dividing very faster at that time at in the hair follicles so that is the reason that during the chemotherapy is a kind of cancer treatment usme ek dawaiyan khilate hain because of the action of the chemotherapeutic drugs their action is to kill the rapidly dividing cells because they believe the cancer cells are dividing very faster as compared to the body cells but the hair follicles are also dividing very fast so when the person is under treatment of cancer like in chemotherapy because of the action of those drugs they usually lose the function of the hair follicles and that is why and that is why they will never they they, they lose their hair jo aksar hum cancer ke patients ko dekhte hain without hairs that is because of that act. that chemotherapeutic drugs there are a lot of blood vessels here which supply the food and other things to the skin and also i can tell you a lot of rangers are out there they are part of the immune system the rangers of the body which are actually staying there waiting for for any pathogen for any bad things to penetrate into our skin so if some bacteria or some other a uh, microorganism somehow able to penetrate our skin so this the lone rangers over there they actually usually fight and kill those bacteria and pathogens present in the skin one more interesting thing is present here is the the oil glands this is also called as sebaceous glands the job of the sebaceous gland is to produce oil i i can tell you there is there is a purpose for for that thing and is the purpose is also to protect the body temperature because oil is a wonderful insulator once it is there on the skin it can keep the body temperature it can hold the energy and heat right within our body in in other animals this oil is also responsible in proper uh, alignment of the hairs present on the skin अगर आपने कभी किसी बकरे को स्किन पे हाथ फेरा हो आपने देखा हो लॉट ऑफ हेयर आर आउट देयर काउस पे भी होता है लॉट ऑफ हेयर आउट देयर एंड यू कैन सी कि अगर आप उनके बाल खराब भी कर दें बॉडी के अपने हाथ से बर्ड्स नीड दैट थिंग मोर देन आस बिकॉज दे नीड दैट देर विंग्स should not be porous so that they can flap and they can get energy to fly so those sebaceous glands cells are quite important for them for us they are producing oil and that oil creates another layer of skin uh, on our skin and it protects the heat it protects that heat should not lost from out should not lose from out some people do have like do produce and they do produce more oil as compared to the other one their skin produce more oil as compared to the other and you can feel in the morning or sometime late in the night that their skin is like more oily as compared to the other one and that oily skin is because of the more production of sebaceous uh, more function of the sebaceous gland they are producing more oil this is one thing certain other things of course the nerve cells are here 
the nerve cells are also present in the skin, but not at the very top. That's some nerve cells are present here. The nerve endings, they are responsible to sense. And most of the nerve cells here, they're like pain receptor. And that is very uh, interesting to understand that the, the job of the skin is to receive pain as well as to receive the comfort and the soothing effects as well. I mean, we are sensing both the, both the things at the same time from the same skin. So we have like different types of nerves present in our skin. And those pain receptors are really, really a, a life-saving thing as well. If we do not feel the pain, if we do not able to experience the environment from our skin, we might not be able to act in a normal way or a proper way. And I can tell you fear or pain is a life-saving uh, activity or instinct. It's not something you should feel bad about it. Pain or uh, pain or yeah, that is fine. It's an indication. It's something which is actually helping you to understand something is not right. Headache or yeah, something is not. That does not mean something is not right in the head. It might be possible something is not right in the stomach. And something is not right in the metabolism of liver. Something is not right in the function of kidney. Something maybe somewhere else. But that is one of the ways that your body can actually uh, uh, sense a signal. So that you should understand if something is not right. You need to you know... You need to rethink about your schedule, about your other things. If we are not able to sense these things, abnormalities, that might end up in a sudden death because we have no idea that we are not, we are not right. We are not, we are not functioning in a normal way. So the skin actually help us to feel the pressure and the pain and the temperature, you know, and the other things, whether the, if there is a uh, cold out there, the weather is nice or not. We can sense all those things with the help of us. And especially the pain, that is very, very important. Some people might be wondering that if we don't have the pain receptor in our body, that might be an interesting thing. But that is not the very good choice. Because the pain is actually helping you, the sense of pain and the pressure is helping you to make better decisions for your life. And I can tell you as well that the fear is actually a boundary line. It's not biology which I'm telling you right now. It's a boundary line which actually hold yourself into a certain circle. But you have noticed that humans are like bunnies. Do you know bunnies? 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 Do you know cartoons? Do you know bunnies? 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 Uh, our times. Woody Woodpecker, do you know? Woodpecker, do you know? Woody Woodpecker, that's a wonderful sort of character, cartoon character as well. Anyway, so if you observe the bunny, how bunny works, how does it work? It goes a little bit away from his house. It cats it does not go very far from the place, actually. They try to observe and sense that this is my place, nobody else is coming to that land. They actually mark that place as well and then come back again. And for the next time, it actually go few steps farther to that place. And it kept on increasing the area. Until unless the bunny came across to someone else's land. It came across another bunny's region. Those who feel like this is not the place. Bunny came across other problems or other people or, or other organisms. It stopped expanding that area. So that is like a human also work in this way. So we, for the very first time, sometimes we feel, oh, it is very weird. It is not possible. This is not nice. This is very difficult. I can't do this. It looks very weird. But for the very first time, when you start doing a certain thing, it actually helps you to go to the next level in a good way or in a bad way as well. I mean, it's in, in, in a good way or in a, in a bad way. Let's, let me trim that part of the video after the recording. I'm just putting the mark somewhere. So pick it up and put it in the recording. It's, it's, it seems it gets so weird sometimes when you when you came to know about somebody. Let's have a dinner date tonight. Not only dinner, I just am saying dinner date tonight. Oh my God. Sometimes it, it hits hard because it's like quite a comparatively stronger thing to do and to expect to do in a certain, in a given circumstances from someone you don't know. 
for someone to have no interaction. A lot of fear, and that is the fear which actually stops you, which actually in circles. So this is this exists. This thing exists outside the circle. So I don't need to go there. But if the same person, person or the same situation comes to you in other way, like um, how are you? You're doing fine. Yes. Let's have a chit chat together. Kya bolte usko ab log? Kya bolte usko yar? Hang out karna. Let's let's have let's hang out together. Just talking, texting. Hello, how are you? You're doing fine. So that actually makes you more. Uh, comfortable or i can say tell you the fears become less and then you can think about walking together you can think about you no know, moving around together and that helps you to take another step and so that's a different route altogether humans usually experience and then they can schedule their or i can tell you they can uh, adjust the circle of their fear that what what are the things they need to do what are the things that they, they can't do and i can also tell you that uh, this is a a good thing as well as is not a very good thing good thing in a sense that it actually helps you it actually saves you from certain unwanted experiences something which you can't do something which is beyond your capacity so you don't have to try that thing mountain pe hiking kar rahe hai na you know that i can't go there na ye yahan par bas meri bas ho jaye so that fear actually stops you to a certain place and that is fine that is nice it's a wonderful thing but at the same time it actually limits you it actually you know entangled you in a certain region so you you do not try to go beyond that circle and that is the negative part of the fear so as long as you are kept on trying you will kept on helping in expanding the circle of your fear that will be Uh, uh, and that is how you can only explore the other things i was talking to a university in in philippines about something i don't know kahan se maine ye bongi mari unke sath but i told them ke when you teach in person like person i mean we the teachers and we 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 feel we feels like a, like like trees feel like trees but when you are able to connect with the other people you can go to the other places or you can connect them yourself like online you can connect yourself to different parts of the world and you can talk with the different parts different people at the same time that actually makes gives you the wings that convert those trees into the birds so the trees are wonderful but they stay at one place during all their time but birds they can explore newer places newer lands and new landscapes as well so this is the cost which you need to bear if you want to expand the circle of fear you have to put an effort to increase your limits and that is how human psychology usually typically works one more thing i should tell you before i uh, conclude the lecture and that is that our skin cells they they do contain um, uh, some cells are called as melanocytes i think it's not here but they these cells are called as melanocytes melanocytes the job of the melanocyte is to produce melanin there are different types of melanin they are producing it's a it's a pigment pigment means it's a color it's a pigment the amount of melanin produced by the skin defines the tone of our skin that actually defines that how dark we will be how light our skin tone will be and that is the level of melanin melanin produced in our skin Uh, it is not the bad thing i can tell you melanin is not the bad thing because the job of the melanin is to fight with the with the radiations of the sun so if a skin is exposed to certain radiation the skin try to protect itself try to create some pigments so that those pigments those jaise hum eye shades use karte hain glasses use karte hain to protect our eyes from the sun rays just to put an extra layer like that so, so the skin try to produce more melanin that is why the people who work under the sun most of the time their skin is comparatively dark this is one thing but it is defined by the genetics as well it is defined by the genetics the people who used to stay uh, in a comparatively colder temperatures for millions of years genetically they don't need uh, that much melanin so their skin is different 
as compared to the people who are living in Africa, like for millions of years, they're experiencing more heat to their body, skin needs more amount of melanin. But now that is not our logic anymore over the last hundred years or so, because we are traveling wherever we want to. At that time, it was not possible. Like the people who are living in Africa, they're living, the human species, which were living in Africa, they were living in Africa, the, who were living in, 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 the, in the Canada, they were living in the Canada. Who were in the Africa, they were living in Africa. So they're like distinct as compared to their, their habitat. But now like we are traveling, you know, one people can travel to other lands, we can travel to Europe, but that will not going to change the genetics in days, in one generation, in few generation, no. It will survive like it requires like 100,000 generations to create an impact like this. So that's the job of the melon that actually defines. The, there are ways that we can change. Some people do develop pigments, hyperpigmentation or pigment, something, something that is, that they have, they develop spots on the skin. And that is also because of the difference in the amount of melanin produced in the different parts of the skin. Sometimes they do develop certain pigments. Usually a good doctor, a skin specialist, they, he, or she will be able to tell you that what is the actual reason, but melanin might be the reason. Some people do go for surgeries and they try to use laser and other techniques just to, just to break down the melanin present in the skin or the cells which are producing melanin so that they you know, ultimately become less dark out of that uh, medical activity. And I can tell you one more thing. Essential surgeries pe lagte hai, jitne paise cosmetic surgeries pe lagte hai. Health, dunya mein health mein, logon ke paas medical dawaiyon ke liye paise nahi hai, bohut saare mulkon mein, but I can tell you, dunya mein cosmetic surgery jo hai na, usme jata paise lagte hai, as compared to the jo life saving surgeries ho. That the, and it's very, uh, I don't know, but we are not ready for that thing, humari society mein bhi kam hai ye, we start over hai, but it is a very special thing, people earn money for that thing. So I can recall one of my experience that one of my friend from my lab fellow, she came and she was like sitting on the, on the lab table and I was working like this with my things during my PhD. And she said, hey, Moose, look at me. I said, okay. What did you feel? Like, I can't tell you actually, but actually I feel, so, is there any change? Like, uh, you look beautiful. That's, that's how you need to be kind actually. You look beautiful. No, no, I mean, there is something different you can see. I say, ah, you look beautiful than the normal days. Prepare, uh, and, and she said, and after that, she actually uttered a very strong, abusive gali for, for the surgeon, for the plastic surgeon. She, she had a uh, surgery for the nose, like a couple of days before, and she was expecting that her nose was like reshaped after that. And if I failed to pick it, that means it is very difficult to be kuch hua hai, ko. Like they earn money ke mene kaano ki thodi si shape aise karni hai, nose ki shape aise karni hai, fixed shape aise karni hai. And after that they actually, they actually define their, their facial uh, dynamics. They can control all these things. Lot of, lot of money is consumed in this way. One more thing I should tell you, that's about the, about the, the cosmetic products we use and to apply, we apply on our skin to make ourselves lighter or less darker, fair and lovely. Or which one is Pfizer Beauty Cream. And which one is the cream that you put on your skin, for what purpose? To, to decrease the melanin. Actually, they, they do have certain chemicals which are like in contact with your skin cells. You know, in contact with skin cells. Now, those chemicals, I don't want to name those chemicals. There are certain types of acids and certain uh, vitamins as well. Those chemicals, when in contact with the skin cells, they react with the melanin. Actually, they do not react with the melanin. They actually react with the enzymes which are creating melanin. So there is an enzyme in our skin. The job of that enzyme is to, I think, tyrosine maybe. Tyrosine kinase, I'm not sure, but this is this might be the enzyme. Their job is to create melanin. So those chemicals actually stop and interfere 
or hinder the function of those enzymes. Yeah, but those yeah, enzymes yeah, will yeah, never yeah, be able to produce yeah, more melanin. Yeah, and those people will develop like a lighter skin over the period of time. But of course, it has side effects. It has like uh, their their own effects and own problems. It has two side effects, but that is how it works. Our skin, the job of our skin is also to protect ourselves from the external bad things, pathogens and bacteria. And of course, once there is an injury over there, if there is an injury over there, the cells from our skin, the, the immune cells from our skin, they actually go to that place and try to fight with the bad things and then try to fix the problem. The, because of that battle, the bacteria is there and your skin's immune cells are trying to fight with that stuff. Because of that battle, a lot of immune cells lost their lives. And their dead bodies is what we call as the pus. That is the dead bodies of the immune cells. And they kept on fighting until unless they get rid of the bad thing. So when a skin is like scabbed or something, uh, an injury is there, that actually allows the pathogens and bacteria to enter into the skin or enter into our body more comfortably. So wonderful packaging material does not allow any bad things to enter into our body. So that is why if uh, uh, an injury is there, we assume that hum, we will cover it for one purpose because the bacteria and the other things should not come in, into our body. And we apply anti antiseptics and uh, antibiotics and other things so that no bacteria should be able to penetrate into our skin through that opening. But because of the rapid cell division, we usually cover that part comfortably. 